What's up guys? Let's talk today about speed and supersonic set. Nani? As you may know or not know, but if you're familiar with me and my content, I'm famously very slow player and I'm always using go second teams. Always. I have never used any kind of speed teams in arena because it hasn't been an option. But recently we got the supersonic set and it's definitely an equalizer that is kind of resetting the item set balance, which is what we've had many times before with both item sets and champions. Basically we get something new that makes the old things less strong in comparison and kind of slowly makes them irrelevant and the new thing is the best one and then it later gets overthrown by something else we get later on but good example would have been lethal set for nukers that it just purely was flat out better than savage and people of course had been farming savage for years and years so it was kind of hard to initially get a better lethal set than savage just because they had so much accumulation of the gear, but over time lethal is just flat out better. And speed set has always been a thing that mega whales, when you see speed um, speed sets in um, in the shop, they have to do it. Oh, we actually do have one now. So wait, yeah, you can see it on the video. So when when the big big accounts see these these um, sales on the shop, they pretty much have to buy it every single time because they want to compete with the others in speed and they have been using or doing this for years that every time there is a speed set, if it's legendary one, they must buy it and that's how you can get to be really fast and the top accounts, they can be like insanely fast these days, they can be like even even well above 450 speed. I think in the past people thought that if you were 400 speed that would be insanely fast but these days 400 speed is kind of decent speed but the big boy accounts they can even be like more than 50 speed faster than that and actually as you can see later on this video spoiler alert if I had like you will see but if I had like max clips and blessings I could even be 416 speed at this point on my Arbiter. But speed is a big deal in Raid, just in general, but in PvP, especially right now when we have a speed meta, and go second teams aren't viable for multiple reasons, mainly because of, um, uh, of course, Narciss A2 ignoring passive abilities and shields and getting extra damage out of both shields and strengthen and then we have stuff like Nars um, Armands that can polymorph things through stone skin and so on but basically it's a hard on a speed meta right now everybody's using lockouts in both offense and defense and lots of buff strips and other CC as well it isn't just limited to lockout and speed is super important if you want to compete even for me and like I said, we recently got Supersonic set and it has kind of shuffled things around a little bit and I have spoken about this before but I don't think I made like a separate video about this so I think it's it's a good time to talk about it since I <laughs> I just recently got some upgrades but um, and I think this is something that pe other people have overlooked because I saw, I think Sap made a video about Supersonic set, maybe like a month ago or two months ago. And it was very interesting, but I think he kind of, um, he talked about the effects on the set and how strong they are or how strong they are not, like the 4-piece, 6-piece and 9-piece set. But I don't think he really focused on the most biggest deal about this set. The, the, like, it might be less obvious than those effects on here and by the way spoiler alert the, the best one out of these set effects if we quickly look at them four piece fills this champion's turn meter by two percent per each buff on enemy so kind of 
maybe something like Valkyrie passive, similar. Six piece, decrease turn meter effects placed by enemies on this champion are 30% less effective. Okay, I kind of read that in a weird way, but you get the point. And then the last one increases any turn meter fill effects cast by the wearer by 30%. And this was later, I think, was it by Plarium? But I think Plarium said that it only affects the user and not the other champions in the team. But obviously, I mean, all of them are good effects, but the four piece effect is way better than the other two. They are nice, but they are not worth building for. And let's say that there was one more like 10% or 12% speed set bonus here, maybe instead of the resistance at 7. Then you probably would consider just going for 9 piece set bonus. But actually, by far the optimal strategy here is that you can go for a 5 piece supersonic, so you get 20% speed. And then you pair that with two other speed sets. And it could be basically a combination of any sets. Like as you can see right now, I have like a divine, divine speed and normal speed. But it could literally be two guard speeds on broken broken set and then a two piece speed set. Or it could be um it could even be four piece with Barry, but that would be less speed. But it's something you could also do that. You would also get speed out of that, and you would get tankiness if you pair those together, like 5p supersonic and 4p Swiftberry. I did it, but I can get significantly faster this way, so I prefer it. But you could use 2p perception, you could use 2p righteous, or 2p impulse, which is basically the best 2p speed set nowadays after the buff, since you get the same speed from speed set and then. 12% chance to reduce a random skill cooldown by one turn. That's actually a pretty good effect, to be honest. I wouldn't underestimate that one at all. If you can reduce the cooldown of your turn meter boost or some kind of utility skill, maybe a lockout, that can be a huge deal. So I would definitely want to get this. And I would, by the way, I would do the same strategy on Impulse set that I'm going to talk about Supersonic set later on. But the obvious thing is you want to triple roll everything and see if you get triples or guards, even if it's not on speed, and you want to chaos or them and this for those um speeds, especially since you only like you just need to have two pieces with triple or guard speed on impulse, or maybe even just one if you have a speed boots and then a guard weapon or something like that. But the point here is that with this, like you get 10% or 20% from uh, Supersonic, and then you get some combination, but let's say 24% from two speed sets. That's the best way to be fast now. That's going to give you more speed than just having 6 piece speed set, which would be 36%, and now we're getting like uh, 44%. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that's complicated math. But the most important part here, or that is probably the most important par part, but another aspect is that actually getting six uh, triple or quad speeds on a couple specific sets is pretty hard. It's not something easy to do, but with this strategy, you only, since you use three accessories on Supersonic, and they, they can be very crappy ones. The only important one here is the banner, and you should do the same strategy here. That First of all, I would keep even 5-star accessories on Supersonic for this, especially on factions where you might build somebody fast, but like the stats on the ring and the... Amulet don't, doesn't really matter on supports, I wouldn't worry about them, but it's obviously going to be a big priority to use Chaos Source, Chaos Source on the banners. And as you can see, I'm only using a 5-star banner on my Arbiter, so this could be way better. This is not even close to my final form, but if I quickly show you my Arbiter stats on... Um, 
Wait. Okay, that should be good. So if we quickly see it from the Hell Hades Optimizer, just to like quickly recapping the build, as you can see, it's 5B Supersonic and 2 Speed and 2 Divine Speed. And we're already at the speed level of 373. And I was calculating that I obviously don't have max clips on a lot of my pieces. I could be 391 with max speed clips. And I also don't have a faction guardian on um, on high else. So I could be 401 with, um, with the faction guardians. And of course, if you also get the uh you get the blessing which i don't with six star blessing i could be 416 and then is it with plus two uh plus two arbiter i could be even 426 so my arbiter is actually kind of fast i just need to finalize the other stuff but the potential is there and she could already be 426 speed and not only would she be very fast, but she does have the turn meter feel effect from the supersonic and buffs are super common on every single team. So that actually does make a huge difference. But this was actually fairly easy to accomplish. I mean, maybe easy is the wrong word because this is years of accumulation on gear on my account, of course. But like I said, you can substitute three pieces on accessories that can almost have no stats at all or very crappy stats and you basically only need to have two pieces on supersonic to accomplish this and actually i have already gotten three triple speed pieces on supersonic so far i have a helmet as well so i could then get that which means that i already have three and you could even use boots as one of them so technically i could already have four normal artifact pieces on supersonic you will be able to get this set eventually guaranteed even if you're not a giga whale and um curse city might not be easy for you which is not for me either i kind of have to struggle with this every time and manual the higher floors here but you will definitely be able to make a fast set on supersonic and even multiple sets so if you just keep up with the grind, this is kind of a catch-up mechanic to get on par with the whales. Of course, if they have multiple guad speeds on a speed set, those things are still going to be relevant and carry on. But at least you don't need to have six pieces on a speed set anymore. You might only need to have two or maybe four pieces. And how do you like um how do you optimize this tactic how do you make most out of the supersonic i kind of already alluded to it but the most obvious thing is that and i have talked about the other uses before i mean where do you want to use chaos or we actually do get a plentiful amount of chaos or nowadays since there's a 25 percent chance every week that there will be five chaos ors in the guild shop and then there will also be multiple chaos ors in cursed city every rotation i can't recall how many but maybe also like five or it might even be more but we actually have a steady supply of chaos or these days and you also do get plentiful amount of supersonic but apart from the other stuff that you might want to use it like stone skin accessories for instance or reaction and so on but the obvious thing is that every supersonic piece that you get, even if they don't have a speed substat, and obviously I'm pretty sure you're rolling every piece with speed substat, even if I don't tell you to. But let's say that you have a six star piece that um I don't yeah, I don't think I have <laughs> I don't think I have any unrolled six star pieces for obvious reason. Oh no, there's one. Okay, here's close. Oh, oh th this does have a speed, but Every 6 star, pretend that I don't have a speed, but every 6 star piece that you get, you want to re-roll, re not re-roll them, you want to roll them, see if you get a triple roll, even if it's not on speed. And as you know, if I were to chaos sources now, it would keep the, like, the plus one roll on the first 
substat and the plus two roll on the second substat. And if I had a plus three roll, I would have pretty good chance to get triple speed on Chaos Oring it. Of course, not the guaranteed chance, but if, if you do this a lot, over time you're for sure gonna get multiple triple speeds. I mean, assuming that you have triple rolls, but it doesn't take too many Chaos Swords that you are gonna land on triple speed, so you will get it eventually. It's something that maybe you're not gonna get an insane fast set right now today, but if you keep this in mind and you grind it over time, you will guaranteed become a lot faster over time. And that's one of those ways that if you are a competitive guy like me, you want to be stronger than others, it might not be easy if you if you don't spend a lot of money on shards or you even if you do but you don't get lucky with pulls, it might not be easy. But if you play actively and you do this strategy from the start, you will eventually over time, even with bad RNG, you will outdo other people with your own performance and get better gear. And that's what I recommend you to do. That's what I've always been trying to do with other stuff like lethal. At this point, if you grind at lethal from start, you're gonna have multiple insane lethal sets like I do. And it's pretty it's pretty fun to have these kind of um, pretty much like best in slot killer sets. And I think we actually get more supersonic than we get lethal, so if you do this stuff on Supersonic starting now, or maybe you were already doing it, I guarantee you, you can be insanely fast. You, you will go go well above 420 speed in a year or two. I guarantee it. And yeah, th that's pretty much what I wanted to say about Supersonic. People often ask me to make guides about um, item sets and do videos about um, fixing builds on other people's accounts. Actually, I have done a few of those, but I think I will do more of them making like a just general item set guide for all of the sets is um, there's too much stuff in one video and it's very, um, very specific and situational. So I don't think a tier list is that that good for items, even though I think I have done one of those in the past, but I think I'll do more other similar small videos about item sets like this one in the future. But that's it. If you have any questions or comments, then hit me up. Make sure to join my Discord. I'm really going hard on ad advertising my Discord because I'm trying to make it um, the new place for arena enjoyers to talk. And yeah, that's it. Have a nice day. See ya.